Grand Villa Guest House. Na la bon le bébé senior ring adou na bon le bébé nyara ndering coming e bela fila ila so e tara nyame ntel Grand Villa na Kiliano la lafino wala mo kawati ntel kam na ye sabati Grand Villa ye la kodo na fa kalamata Like I know. I saw my love this place. Yes, thank you, thank you. Trust me, I love this place. You can move to someone and you're watching one. Yeah. Grand Villa. I tell you. I love this place. Okay. I love this place, man. Ni left on a cool case of Sotola. Futama origin to Paradise Estate. By your commander, okay, 7527218. Wale Futana website auto www.grandvillaguesthouse.com. Grand Villa Guest House. Do you live abroad and want to build your dream home in the Gambia without risking your funds and family ties? Do you want a household name that is trustworthy and efficient? A name that will continue to give you updates on the project from the beginning to the very end with videos and pictures? If your answer is yes, then worry no more. Boss Construction and Asset Management is here for you. If you live outside the Gambia and want to build your dream home, then this is ideal for you. Just reach out to Boss Construction and let's start building the dream home into a reality. With Boss Construction, the difference is clear. We give you value for money. Some of our services includes the following. Construction management, building equipment rentals, rent management, purchase and leasing, asset management and many more. For more information, please contact 282-4945. Better still, send us an email bossgambia at gmail.com or you can also visit our website on www.bossgambia.com Boss Construction, a name you can trust. Boss Construction and Asset Management, keeping families together. On this episode of The Playlist, your favorite entertainment show sponsored by EJ Investments and Balowo, today I have Wagan of Black Links. He's here to talk about Open Mic, which will be happening on the 27th and 28th of December, live at the Independent Stadium. Make it a date. Do not miss this event because it's one of the biggest, I mean, platform which celebrate Gambian music in the Gambia. Stay tuned and enjoy this episode. DJ. Are you thinking of owning your dream homes? EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms. Or our story building, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans. At our Sanyang Sea View Estate, where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, school, children daycare and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, sonar panel and power backup system. Also, 
Check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220 or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments. We are first in properties. Good to have you on the playlist, Wagan. Thank you. Finally, after such... I know. Man, how many times... <laughs> We've been trying to arrange but an interview, but... God's time is the best. Yeah, that's true. Like yes. Jesus said, turn by turn. Exactly. Everything in life is turn so by turn. So I guess turn. it's my turn. It's then. your turn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So this is the 12th. And I feel privileged. Oh, thank you so much. And Thanks. I feel privileged to have you here thank as Thank well. you very much. Because I'm um, Open Mic is a platform that is uh, created to promote Gambian music, yeah. give young people you know, a platform where they can showcase their talent. Yeah. So I guess as time goes on, we will have people like us to perform, but not like um, musically, but you know, we yes. have talent as well. Of we course, should sit of and, course, and discourse of course. like, certainly, um, certainly. you know, have a platform where we bring artists after they perform, we talk to them. Of course. You know, do you think we, that is possible? We, I would love to have. You know that. We would love it to have It makes sense. We like you have, have someone um, perform like after they bags, perform. Like uh, backstage after performances before performances doing the interviews stuff like that would love that we okay. have that always all right so well, how come let's make you it happen never, how come you were never a part of that well i don't know how comes you guys never bring me over well now you're officially invited <laughs> thank you so much like i said i feel so privileged so the question i'm gonna start with is who are the founders of open mic uh my business partner and myself x miles and yes myself Okay, yeah. so you both founded uh, Open Mic. Yeah, uh, well, we own Black Links, the company that mm -hmm. runs uh, Open Mic. So, okay. yeah, about 12, ye 12 years ago, matter of fact, uh, just sat brainstorming on ideas. Mm -hmm. 12 years and change, actually. Yeah, because I was going to ask, how did the idea come about? Yeah, well, you know, uh, I don't know how young you are. Mm -hmm. And if you remember, maybe go back 2006, 2007, mm -hmm. the music scene in Gambia was practically dead. Mm -hmm. And um, you would go a whole week mm -hmm. and you wouldn't hear one local song on the radio, mm -hmm. you know, and we felt, okay, something needs to be done about this. Mm -hmm. um, we had a radio show, started slowly incorporating local music in it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then uh, we also had club shows. And you know, if you had a good enough record, we would play your songs in the in the clubs and parties. Mm -hmm. uh, so we s sat there brainstorming, like, okay, what can we do to give artists a platform to perform mm -hmm. that you could come see artists? You mm -hmm. know, um, I had the experience with open mics in America, mm -hmm. so I just suggested to X Miles, man, we should do like an open mic here. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So sat just cracking our brains, okay. We go with the open mic, but then how do we cater it for the local audience, you know, and mm -hmm. yeah. And what were the biggest challenges you encountered? Well, obviously, I mean, uh, trying to give platform to local artists when local artists in those days were, mm -hmm. I could say, at the bottom of the totem pole. Mm -hmm. You know, no one looked at them with any, you know, they were always looked upon with, you know, as the silliest and you know mm -hmm. yeah just how um, people thought of local music it was a, we were the laughing stock you know so that was definitely a big challenge uh, you know just convincing the general public mm -hmm. to even give us a chance to just listen mm -hmm. you know and uh, obviously how to also monetize it yeah those so were, how does a turnout used to be those days uh, not <coughs> great, but you had like a small circle, a core mm -hmm. group that used to always come around. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we were very persistent. We were on radio and, you know, just doing the monthly open mics and uh, just decided, okay, mm -hmm. we were going to start taking these open mics to the streets, mm -hmm. doing it free in the different neighborhoods. So we would come practically to like your house and set up a stage mm -hmm. right in, you know, right on your street, mm -hmm. just bring out the speakers, 
play it. So you were forced to have to listen, you yeah. know. So that, yeah. was for, that was free though? That was free. You okay. know, we brought it out to the neighborhood. And all the kids, you know, who lived there, who thought they had talent, and some who actually had talent, mm -hmm. you know, we were like, hey, open mic, here's a, here's a mic, you know, come on up stage. Right. If you're not good, the crowd will boo you. <laughs> but if you're good, <clears throat> they will celebrate you, start mm -hmm. talking about you. You become like the neighborhood hero, yeah. you know, and then... And you start going to radio stations. You exactly, know. and we were on radio, so mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, when you bus a neighborhood, we tell you, okay, next month we'll be in this other mm -hmm. neighborhood. You come there, you know, you make noise, so, you know, your name started ringing bells in the streets. Right. And uh, if you had uh, songs, we were on radio, we were like, okay, give us the songs, we'll play it on radio. Right. And then uh, I think it was in either 2008 or 2009. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you remember Fila, the yeah, TV show. Yeah, I remember Fila, yeah. Exactly. So we, we, we managed to get on TV. Mm -hmm. I think it might have been in 2009. Yeah, we, GRTS used to carry yes, that. Yes, we, we got then. on TV, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I mean, so things started coming together. You know, people started realizing, okay, there's a lot more to this. Mm -hmm. You know, these guys are in the streets, they're in the clubs, mm -hmm. you know, they're on radio, and now they're on TV in our living rooms, mm -hmm. you know? And so we were kind of force-feeding it to people. And for the artists also, we definitely set standards mm -hmm. where, okay, you had to come through the streets, you're making noise there, you know, you make good enough records, we're playing it on radio. Mm -hmm. Now we're encouraging them, make videos, you know, so you made nice enough videos, they were played on TV, mm -hmm. you know, so artists started becoming local heroes, man. Yeah. In your neighborhood, everybody's talking about you. Oh, you know that girl, Sally? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she did this song. <laughs> she performed there. She yeah. rocked it. Did you see her video? Mm -hmm. I saw her on TV, you know? And then, I mean, uh, when we had commercial events, these were some of the same artists that we were inviting to these commercial events mm -hmm. and putting money in their pockets. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we started making them realize, okay, this is a business, uh, mm -hmm. something I can do to earn a living. Right. Yeah. So at what point did you feel like we have to monetize this? Well, uh, even at the earliest stages, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you always, I mean, I always realized, in a, I've been in the music business for a long time since I was a little kid, you know, mm -hmm. so I always realized that in as much as uh, there was the art, there was also the business part. You mm -hmm. always have to find a way of balancing it, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, in the early stages, we were charging twenty-five dollars, you mm -hmm. know, uh, but we always wanted to make sure, no matter how little, any mm -hmm. commercial event, you have to charge something. Mm -hmm. You know, you're not just gonna. When people get things free every time, mm -hmm. after a while, they don't get to appreciate it. But yeah. we also needed to balance that. How do you do it free, mm -hmm. where you can attract people, but then when you take the best of them, mm -hmm. you have to charge. So make people get to understand that, mm -hmm. you know, and somewhere along the line by 2008, mm -hmm. uh, when we did like 10 or 11 mm -hmm. free shows in the different neighborhoods, mm -hmm. December was coming, we were like, okay, we have to pick out the best from all of these mm -hmm. that we're playing on radio and uh, they're coming to the shows, pick out the best of them. Mm -hmm. and put all of them on one stage. Right. And that's where the birth of the Open Mic Festival started. Started. Right. Yeah. So Open Mic has grown significantly over the years. Yeah. What mechanisms did you guys put together to get it to the level it is today? I mean, some of the things I mentioned, being on radio, being on TV, uh, you know, being in the streets uh, and also just started doing commercial events in the different neighborhoods, mm -hmm. you know, people we had to take it to the people. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, uh, everyone, the general public just started gravitating to it. Mm -hmm. You know, people started realizing, okay, mm -hmm. this is a force to be reckoned with. You know, mm -hmm. we were very persistent, mm -hmm. never giving up, you know, in as much as you always have challenges, but challenges happen with everything you do in life. You know, mm -hmm. that's inevitable. Even breathing can come with its own. Of course. You know, you have to make an effort. Yeah. Yeah. Like so sometimes we breathe and get fresh gold. <laughs> exactly. You know, so, uh, I mean, that's just life, you know, <clears throat> but you just persist and it was a dream, you know, you just kept going on, just kept going on and always mm -hmm. trying to think. I mean, I think, uh, and humans, we always love to see new things mm -hmm. in as much as we might be a little reluctant to change, mm -hmm. but people always want to see 
new things and adaptation and things evolving. Mm -hmm. So every time, you know, you sit and think of new ideas, what do I change? But they don't want change to be so drastic mm -hmm. that they can adapt to it easily. Right. You know, so uh, you always have to make sure, bring in something that they're looking forward to, something you might need to keep certain things deduct, you mm -hmm. know, so always bring in some kind of change that, you know, they can always see some kind of growth right. and eventually adapt to it and make it happen. So yeah. um, before, at some point, Open Mic used to organize monthly yeah. um, shows yeah. where new talents, fresh artists are discovered. Yeah. What happened to that? Because it it's, seems like it's not happening anymore. No, it's still going on. Okay. Now we've just taken it to other neighborhoods now. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. uh, Gunjur is about 30, 40 kilometers from here. Mm -hmm. If I organize it in yeah. Gunjur, Mm -hmm. I don't think I need to advertise it where someone in Serekunda or Banjul knows about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, if I just uh, sometime last month, we were in Bara, mm -hmm. you know, uh, Wendo Farafenye, you mm -hmm. know, so we're going to places further than just Greater Banjul now. Okay. Yeah. But so you guys are expanding to the yeah, you urban know, areas. Yes. Just <laughs> trying to make sure. Uh, the rural. Right? Yeah. Uh, everyone feels a part of it in some way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're taking it nationwide slowly right yeah okay so um how do you guys select who to perform what criteria on the festival qualities? you mean yeah yeah um you know the selection of, for open mic festival depends on a few criteria, but we want to make sure okay when you have a big event like that mm -hmm. you don't want an artist who goes on stage and everyone is asking first off who's this mm -hmm. you know or the artist is performing and nobody seems to even pay attention to the artist because they just really boring mm -hmm. you know so we look at a lot of things uh, how relevant is the artist mm -hmm. from radio TV social media mm -hmm. you know in the streets uh, what commercial value mm -hmm. do, uh, do they have mm -hmm. you know you want an artist where the moment they're being introduced mm -hmm. everyone is just screaming looking forward to it you know and mm -hmm. when the artist is on stage everyone is singing along to their songs mm -hmm. you know the artist can just be quiet and everyone is singing their song, you know. Yeah. The, the, it feels good for the artist and it feels, you know, interactive for the audience as yeah. well. The audience definitely wants that. So, uh, you know, we take a lot of those things into consideration, but mm -hmm. we're not, it's, a, it's a commercial event. Right. You know, we're not going to take an artist who no one even knows in yeah, their own neighborhood. Yeah, because many people seem to complain, like, open mic only is buyers. They only bring well, people that are Well, you know who's complaining? You know? Mm -hmm. The one who's not on it. The one who is on it. Are they complaining? Mm -hmm. No, they're not complaining. Exactly. You know, there is no way you can accommodate everyone. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, this is a, you know, this is a commercial event. There's mm -hmm. ways to get on it. Yeah. You know, you don't sit in your neighborhood and expect me to come to your neighborhood, mm -hmm. you know, to come handpick you. There are, you know, ways and things you have to do to get on the, the, the platform. Be relevant, right. you know. So talking, talking about who's on it, um, we've noticed that Ma have never been on the open mic yeah and um there are some you know rumors going on social media that his fans people from talenting i mean they threaten to boycott the open mic if they do not see mahari hama okay. perform on the show basically you want me to elaborate on that yeah, first like of what is the issue okay. surrounding there is no other? issue mm -hmm. there is no issue Last year we selected him, mm -hmm. we couldn't come to terms mm -hmm. in terms of payment, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, and then for this year, that was last year, that's uh, past and gone. Mm -hmm. For this year, I'm not going to let anyone hold me at ransom mm -hmm. telling me, oh, a neighborhood thing or a tribal thing. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not even going to sit and tolerate that. Mm -hmm. If Talinding wants it, Brikama wants it, Pipeline wants it, Brufoot wants it, mm -hmm. then what are we left with? Nothing. No, we have to pick based on your work, mm -hmm. not based on where you live, mm -hmm. not based on who you are, who your background or any of that. Mm -hmm. Not, and I'm not gonna sit here and let anyone tell me, oh, this artist is a Christian, this artist is a Muslim. Mm -hmm. No, I'm picking you based on your art, mm -hmm. not based on where you live. Mm -hmm. Because if I wanted to do that, how many neighborhoods are in Gambia? Yeah, so many. So am I going to pick from every neighborhood? Mm -hmm. How many tribes are in Gambia? Am I going to pick from every tribe? Mm -hmm. How many religions? How many? So, so do you guys get that? Like people criticize you based on tribe? Of course, of course. But that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I, 
I'm not going to stand for that. So you telling me, oh, because of my neighborhood, another kid called me from Manjai saying, oh, we don't have a Manjai artist. Okay, and tell the Manjai artist to work hard. Mm -hmm. That's simple, you know, so I'm not going to do it based on neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Last year it happened with Brikama. They said they didn't have enough Br artists from Brikama. Mm -hmm. Talinding is not the only neighborhood in Gambia. Brikama mm -hmm. is not the only neighborhood in Gambia. You want to come mm -hmm. and deal with me? Let's deal on a, you know, realistic level. So but simply it's about talent, not about neighborhood. Not about brand. neighborhood, not, right. none of that. You know, and with the Mahadi Hammer case, mm -hmm. it's nothing biased, nothing personal. I have a great relationship with him, mm -hmm. you know, but we have a selection process. If you, that, you don't fit that selection process, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, uh, we can't change that for any particular person. Right. And in Mike Jada's case, yes. last year he did not perform. Well, Do I, can, I can elaborate a little bit on that. Mm -hmm. In actuality, he was selected, mm -hmm. but then there was an incident that happened you know, where... Was it about the diss song he made yes, did for you? Yes, and it was not, in fact, about the diss song, mm -hmm. but it was what he said about a little girl. Mm -hmm. That was the only issue, you know, and uh, I think we also have a, a social mm -hmm. responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not a little kid. You could see the gray hairs on, yes. my, <laughs> on my beard, you of know, course. so I'm not a little kid, I, yeah. you know, I have children and mm -hmm. I also have a social responsibility to the society, of course. you know, I'm certain things I don't want mm -hmm. my platform or me being associated mm -hmm. with certain things, so I have to be very careful you know, to take certain stands mm -hmm. about certain issues, yes. Right, yeah. okay. So, But this year, for the record, Mike Jada is on it Yes, this I year. saw it. He sent me a flyer of him um, to be and performing. And he earned it. He deserves it. Of course, he Do does. you think he deserves it? He deserves it. Exactly. I mean, Mike, over the years, has proved himself. Exactly. I mean, just um, Estee's event, when he came on, the, on stage, he wowed the crowd. Great. So he definitely So that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's about deserving, mm -hmm. you know, who deserves it merit yeah. yeah not just based on oh sally is you know I sally know. is wagan's friend okay yeah wagan has ten thousand other friends and it do not work like that not at all right so apart from giving artists a big platform to showcase their talent what other you know impact doors open might have in artist career development i'll tell you one thing mm -hmm. uh what you presently see in the gambian music scene mm -hmm. The greatest catalyst mm -hmm. has been Black Links. I can stand anywhere and say that. Mm -hmm. When we were playing artists on radio, TV, doing shows, and even putting money in their pockets, I could tell you, I can sit here, I'm not going to, you know, but I can name 20, 30 artists who we were the first people to put money in their pockets. Do you want to name you at least? G, so we can know. SD, Jali Bai Babu, Broke, Manding Mori, too many to just name. The list name. goes on. The list goes on, you know what I'm saying? We were the first to put money in their pockets. Right. But then, apart from that, we taught people how to make that money from the music business. And today, all these guys are doing it. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we drew the blueprint. Right. Long story so short. So you feel like, basically, their success started from... Um, well, obviously, I'm not going to take the credit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a collective effort. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a symbiotic relationship, mm -hmm. one hand washing the other. Mm -hmm. You know, because if you create a platform and no one is using the platform, mm -hmm. it's of no use. Right. But then if people are also looking for a platform which is not there, mm -hmm. so it's about one hand washing the other. You know, it's definitely been a symbiotic relationship. Mm -hmm. We created a platform and everyone else used it. And in return, you know, it also benefited us. So I'm right. not just going to sit here and say, Oh, I did it because I love the artist. No, so it's a collective effort. Everyone played their part. Okay. But I'm saying the biggest catalyst, the biggest contributor to what presently is mm -hmm. has been Black Links. Right. Okay. So how do you feel? Do you bear witness to that or do yeah. you doubt it? I mean, no, I don't doubt it because like you just said, I mean, um, when you guys first started, I mean, back in the days in 2009, 2008, you know, the music industry was not so strong like you because artists used to struggle I mean, to be on radio stations to you know, make people love their songs. But nowadays, like let's say Estes event, Jizzle, 
um, attack, you know, some of, um, some, so many others of them. Um, it's a clear testimony that Gambians are now, you know, embracing the Gambian Certainly. music. And it all started from when you guys gave them a platform because, I mean, which is going to lead me to my question, how do you feel about artists nowadays, you know? The, their crowd is comparable to open mic. You know, that and was, they do this with That their was own the dream, accord. though. Yeah, how do you guys feel about this? That was the dream. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have a son, or if you have children, mm -hmm. uh, or your, your little brothers and mm -hmm. little sisters, your little siblings and your, your mm -hmm. children, mm -hmm. you're praying that, you know, you being the elder, mm -hmm. you teach them, first off, to be able to be independent and to hopefully even grow and beyond where you never even imagined. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm praying that my children will accomplish things in this world and in life, in their lives, you know, that I never even imagined I could do. That's the idea, you know. You always have to make sure you, you, you set an example for the next generation. It's not a competition. You know, are you competing with your children? Are you competing with your parents? No. You're praying that, you know, your parents uh, set an example for you and set a foundation for you that will propel you to places and, you know, that they never even imagined. But you're also praying to do the same thing for your children and their, your great-grandchildren and your forebearers. Mm -hmm. You know, that you create platforms that... So I think when you get to do that in life, that in itself is an accomplishment, you know? So it's not about, oh, uh, oh, my son was not as great as me. No, I'm praying, you know, that people say, oh, Wagan was such a great man, mm -hmm. but that his son, his children came and surpassed him in ways that, you know, mm -hmm. yeah, that my work becomes a footnote in their story, mm -hmm. you know? So. Yeah, so we're, and we're praying, you know, people add to that blueprint to take it to places where, you know, someday, mm -hmm. who knows, someone will sit somewhere and just acknowledge you, mm -hmm. you know? Right, so Open Mic is two days this year. Yeah, we're Why expanding, so? we're expanding, you mm -hmm. know. I think I mentioned earlier, I mean, in life, life is about growth. Mm -hmm. You know, everything you do, you also eventually want to learn to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, at some point you max out with what you do, you have to learn to grow. Mm -hmm. Now, growth can be both vertical and mm -hmm. horizontal. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I think as far as uh, vertical growth, mm -hmm. I'm not saying we've maxed out, but we've grown exponentially. Mm -hmm. Now, we're growing in different ways, you know. Growth can be getting taller mm -hmm. or also getting bigger. Mm -hmm. You know, we've managed to gain some height. Mm -hmm. Now we're trying to bulk up some weight. Right. Yeah. Expanding the wings. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> right. like you that. know, you have to expand the wings, you know, test your wings and to be able to fly. fly. Yeah. Right. That makes sense. So only 27 and only 28. Inshallah. We understand a big, huge event happened here in the Gambia. Yes. So, I um, mean, aren't you guys a little bit scared about the crowd that might be going to the Wali Seka event? Why should I be? Well, because... I mean, okay, first off, I'm not so concerned. You know, I think in life, mm -hmm. you just have to play your ball game, mm -hmm. you know? If you let someone affect how you, you move, obviously you have to react to what, you know, your environment presents you. Mm -hmm. But you have your game plan, play your game plan mm -hmm. you know don't just let people come and be like oh this is going on and just you know and just yeah like disrupt. don't feel intimidated basically i'm not i'm not i mean after 12 years of doing this you know we've had our challenges over the years mm -hmm. and there will always be challenges in life right. that's inevitable so you know we just uh roll with the punches and just you know get it going yeah get it going man right. the the uh, when the tough gets how did, when the how, tough gets go. When the going gets tough. Tough. The tough gets going. Right. Yeah. So, um, how much are tickets this year, and where can we get it from? Well, we'll we'll eventually let you know where to get it from. Mostly Atlas. You know, we'll have other ticket outlets. You know, mm -hmm. but uh, we're gonna make sure. You know, this is the people's event. Mm -hmm. Open mic. It's the people's event. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the one event that, as you mentioned earlier, when a particular artist is not on it, mm -hmm. everyone will complain. Oh, how come my artist is not on it? Mm -hmm. So, people feel that sense of belonging to it. Mm -hmm. 
So we always have to make sure it's reasonable for the people. Yeah. Two nights, five hundred dollars for. So which means two fifty each for. Yeah, but you can't two buy two fifty. You can't just come and be like, oh, I have two fifty. Let me buy Friday, or I have two fifty. Let me buy. So you Saturday. have to buy both days. You have to buy both days. Even or if you you're can, not going. Well, holiday? you can choose to buy one ticket. Okay. But then one ticket's gonna be five hundred. No. <laughs> it's gonna be 400. how much? Four hundred. Yeah. Why is that so? So, okay, would you rather pay 500 for two nights mm -hmm. or 400 for one night? Um, I would rather pay 250 for one night. <laughs> well, this, that, it's an A or B question. It's not like, you know, now you're, you're trying to put all of the above in the, as part of the answer. No, well, I think, I mean, um, it's balanced that way. Like 250 for one day, well, the then, other day for 250. Then, there's if you a likelihood not go. of one mm -hmm. night being affected. You know, you're growing, so you have... This is also strategic. You had, have to find a way of getting, you know, both nights to grow together. Mm -hmm. You don't want one night to grow you know. out of the other one. Yeah, All you, right. you're trying to get both nights to grow together and go together. Okay. Yeah. So um, Gambians are embracing the music. Yes. Like we're so proud of what we've been doing. We're just trying to sell exactly. Thank God. Yes. So how do we now sell the music globally? Because we understand other uh, musicians in other countries. I mean, even though we don't understand their language, the likes of Eddie Kenzo, the likes of Diamond and Platinum, you know, they sing in their language, but we still vibe to their songs. How Certainly. do we now, I mean, export the Gambian music to other countries? Well, that's also been part of the reason for the expansion for us. Mm -hmm. You know, for the past five, six, seven years, been traveling around to different parts of the world, you know, uh, visiting festivals and finding other ideas. So what we decided mm -hmm. to do, okay, as part of the expansion, mm -hmm. on the second night, the first night we'll keep it the classic open mic, you know, mm -hmm. but on the second night, we started inviting international artists as well, right. you know, so we can find some way of collaborating with them mm -hmm. and also doing maybe some exchange program mm -hmm. with other festivals in other parts of the world, you know, just trying to find ways. That's from the Black Link's end. Mm -hmm. Obviously, each of the individual artists is also trying to find ways of breaking out mm -hmm. of our local market. So I think collectively, when we all do that, you know, eventually, you know, and it's the internet age, mm -hmm. you know, eventually you'll have to find some breakthroughs. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. So what are your future developments? Well, just, uh, you know, through this, um, through the open mic, you know, looking for uh, exchange programs where our artists can go to see what's happening in other parts of the world musically, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, just looking for more growth also to eventually grow beyond even the two nights, you know, and mm -hmm. export Gambia, you know, sell. Gambia to the world. When we talk about Gambia, people start recognizing us for music and the arts, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, a whole lot more where people would want to come visit the Gambia, mm -hmm. you know, because of things that they heard uh, that's going on in the music industry. Mm -hmm. You know, take for example a place like uh, Brazil. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Brazil not because of the who the president is, mm -hmm. but because I've heard of Ronaldinho, I've heard of Pele, yeah. I've heard of Copacabana Beach, you mm -hmm. know. So it's about the culture mm -hmm. and the tradition, the arts and all of that. That's why I want to go visit there. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to go visit the, the Caribbeans because so much I've heard about from reggae music to soca, you know, the islands, their food, you know, about the culture. That's why I want to go visit there. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I think if you ask me, I might be wrong, in as much as we want to go visit uh, the United States, mm -hmm. you know, for, uh, supposedly the land of milk and honey, mm -hmm. but we're so attracted to their pop culture. Mm -hmm. You know, when we watch MTV, when we watch their movies, you know, we are so attracted to that culture, that Hollywood, mm -hmm. you know, and we almost assume that when we go, that's the life we're going to live, mm -hmm. you know, so it's more about their culture and that's what attracts us to that society. Right. And we're hoping to do the same thing for Gambia, you know, that uh, when people watch you know, hear about the Gambia, they are so attracted to our culture, our tradition, you mm -hmm. know, food, clothing, you know, the beauty of the people, the smiling coast that they want to come and visit. And I would pray to be a part of, you know, 
who contributes towards that. Right. Yeah. So do you think our artists are ready for this? Of course, of course. I mean, we've grown uh, exponentially over the years, mm -hmm. you know, and I think uh, there's a lot more growth. And as much as earlier, as I mentioned, you know, uh, you were mentioning, oh, we're running. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, we were crawling. We're learning to walk, mm -hmm. you know, because I see when I look for, you know, for someone who's been um, in the music industry for a decent amount of time and who's traveled the world, mm -hmm. you know, I look at the potential and I'm like, man, I don't even think we've harnessed 10% of our potential. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe someone else who might not be as experienced might look at it and be like, oh man, that was like almost, you know, 90% of our potential. I'm like, nah, man, that was only 10%. Mm -hmm. You know, imagine if we're harnessing 30, 40% efficiency with what we're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, just the, the places we could reach. So mm -hmm. that's why I'm saying, I mean, uh, we were crawling. Mm -hmm. Now we're learning to walk as yeah. an industry, not only us, but as an industry, industry at yeah. large. Mm -hmm. You know, now there so many pieces to the puzzle are coming together. You, you know, TV, internet, mm -hmm. you know, you guys, I mean, you guys have contributed immensely to this growth. Mm -hmm. And you might not even have realized it, you know. So collectively, you know, when we all come together and, you know, uh, become that force, mm -hmm. that unified force, mm -hmm. man, the doors we could unlock are just... Yeah. Well, last question before we end. The government yes. mentioned they're investing on music. Yes. You know, how do you think this will help um, the industry? Well, I think it's always good when your government uh, considers and realizes what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Now, me personally, mm -hmm. I would rather not involve government in my thing. Mm -hmm. I would always want to involve the people. Um, I'm playing my part, mm -hmm. not because of the government or whoever is in government. Mm -hmm. I'm just doing my part because I'm a son of the land, son of the nation. I need to do what I need to do regardless mm -hmm. of who is or is not on board. Mm -hmm. The government comes on board, great. They don't come on board, I'm still moving Life forward. Goes on. Life goes on, you know, <laughs> right. and I, I don't want to sit here and be like, oh, <laughs> the government's about to write this check, so, you know, I need my cut of the check. You know what? Do what you have to do. Mm -hmm. I personally might not need that help. Mm -hmm. Someone else might need it if they feel they can benefit from it. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, and sometimes I don't think, okay, for example, if the government were to come give me money, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll be honest to you, I'll just probably take it home, eat it, but it won't, <laughs> it won't do much to my career. Right. You know, I think sometimes when you help people, mm -hmm. you need to know what they need. Yeah. Definitely. And what they want, so you can help them. But you know, just coming to, you know, give someone, you know, yeah, an amount of money and just, just because you any, think that yeah. they're gonna need it. Yeah, because you know, the artists have been complaining that we need the government to support us in this, in that. You know, royalties. A lot of complaints well, have been going on. I am not in a position to fix royalties, mm -hmm. so I'm not gonna make it my problem. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. So, what are you gonna sign off with? Uh. Thank you very much. I am honored and it's a privilege to be on the playlist for the mm -hmm. first time. You're welcome. After <laughs> how many? Yes. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, we're looking forward to having yeah. you here quite well, often. Yeah, thank you, know, you so very much. I, I'm definitely honored mm -hmm. and I just want to thank you guys for the contribution you have also, uh, your part that you've played in the growth of the music industry. If mm -hmm. anyone else doesn't say it, yeah. uh, let me be, you know, let me be among the people who would definitely show that gratitude. Yeah. You know, so thank you very much. Uh, as I said, it's a collective effort. Mm -hmm. We all want the success mm -hmm. individually and collectively. And mm -hmm. I think we all deserve it individually mm -hmm. and collectively. Mm -hmm. You know, just reminding everybody, uh, Open Mic Festival, Friday 27th and Saturday 28th mm -hmm. December at the Independence Independent Stadium, Stadium yeah. you know the expansion man trying mm -hmm. to see if our wings are strong enough you know mm -hmm. flap the wings not yet to fly but mm -hmm. just flap it you know just see like and testing, just getting ready basically. yeah just getting ready to learn to fly man all right thank yeah. you very much thank you very and much and do have a good night
Boy, Janno Seekers Restaurant. Yes, I know who be in the Dimbal. Number Domoro Kara Janno. Domoro Senata, Adiata, Topotoro, and Kendama Bigi. Luntan During, Tamala, Abeka Domoro Kijani, Adimanda Walade, Takawe Vijele, and Impananka Fadijang, Ukono Efa. A government of pastry and in bakery, Uko Fanan Bekari. Bad day lumba, conference lumba, workshop lumba, you four fendi lumba, dunia kono. Domoro better ma, nilum international otiwoda, number one. Amanke bad domola jandama. Esa domo jang, esa ataria. Awo muku bandi. Sa na ko sa futendi. Eh, oto sa na ko be mu CKS restaurant. Dava na jandamu yad, ni manje jorombi jang. Aban. CKS restaurant, known for best quality food and customer satisfaction. All over the place. Chigatel, nyun rexi chub. Dara do doy vedes. Not only the nyun chub, but bulwani he nyun chub alla. But pare nang nyaw alla. Nyaw film gina seti nang regla nyaw fully. Nyati nyaw kat leng am am nyun nyaw kati sample. Ngam ne you know kopo direct ba def sa tay ba def sa dagit def sa roba amud bend daume. Am nyun ko ham ne mo nyaw daume daume jigen. Then am nyun tamit special nyaw kat bo ham ne nyawi go regla nyaw defal. Ngabu gasa his and hers, mui korete, mui tobaski, mba mui ngente, mui taka, mba ngabu garek, you know, defsa yeka bu baha baha baha, dagul bu new skin care plus, nyu dimbele la, tana la chupam gina bahe, defsa yeka gina for. Li, ngane lan, hol bi, bi taka la. Skin care filo fu legi ente. We not all about skin, we are skin. Care and the plus, and the plus does come in so many different ways. <laughs>
Pony, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer? To buy provisions? Yes. yes. But don't you know about Baluo? 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 What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. <laughs>